Welcome to this week's Corona Cast from the Corona Show, where we talk homeschool. Today, I, your host, Max Mason, will share on behalf of the students how we are affected by this lockdown. I'm Max Mason, and this is the Corona Show. All right, so as you all are aware, there's been a worldwide lockdown for a while now, and students are beginning to get tired of no friends and no toilet paper. We definitely don't have it the worst, but we're all affected by this in one way or another. Schoolwork has been really different. It pretty much all depends on how many devices you have at the house. If a house only has one computer and three kids, that's a huge pain because you've got to fit three school days into one day as all the kids take turns on the computer. But if you have a few devices, it goes by pretty quick. I'm really lucky to have my own Chromebook, and both of my siblings have a device that they can use. So I finish school in two to three hours and have the easy problem of filling the rest of the day with other things. Other students have worse problems, like fighting over who gets to do school next, which has never happened before, by the way. I think next year will be the first year that students actually look forward to going back. With families not being able to get outside and go to places like the pool or the park, there's been a whole lot of time to fill. So I'll share some of the things that I like to do when I get bored during the day. I've always been a runner and love to get exercise by running and biking. It's actually really nice to go on a long bike ride through your neighborhood or down the street or wherever, really. The best thing is that the road is pretty much all yours. Go for walks, runs, bikes, or just hang outside and get some of the fresh air. Puzzles are another fun thing to do. It makes it a lot more interesting if you listen to a cool podcast or audiobook or even put on a movie in the background. It's obvious to do some Netflix and video games, too. This is a great time to learn something new. Maybe learn how to play an instrument like a guitar or the piano. There are tons of virtual instrument lessons on the internet. Maybe pick up a new hobby like woodworking, drawing, or photography. You've heard a lot from me. Let's hear from another student and get their perspective. Rachel, you're on. Can you tell us about how the lockdown has affected you as a student? Sure thing. From my personal experience with quarantine, I think I've had to adjust a lot. Instead of going to school at a strict schedule and time, I've been waking up and just doing schoolwork, which makes it a lot easier to procrastinate and get distracted. Aside from schoolwork, I've been incredibly bored and my usual fun activities don't really fix any of that anymore. However, I have been spending more time with my family, which is a good thing. I'm really wishing I could get back into some sort of schedule because it's been stressful staying at home and worrying about everything. I know we're doing this for the safety of everyone, but I'm looking forward to going public places after this is all done. Thanks for your input, Rachel. So now you can see the student perspective in all this. And I think that's all I've got for this episode. So thanks for listening to this week's CoronaCast, and hopefully you got something out of it. Keep social distancing and keep pushing through and sanitizing everything. Stay safe in there. I'm Max Mason, and this is The Corona Show.